One, two, three, let's get it on! of Cooking with the Axe Lords. Now, what we're about to do is very dangerous, and anything can go wrong at any time. On today's episode, we will be preparing a succulent wild boar foie gras, a traditional favorite in Zanzibarian cuisine. Mmm, that sounds good. And then after that, we're preparing a delicious key lime pie when we'll be sharing our secret on how to make desserts in a time crunch. But before we do anything, we must perform the ancient, ancient axe sharpening, sharpening ritual. Now we're drunk, sharpened, and ready to cook. Now wild boar foie gras is a delicious meal that you can easily prepare in your own kitchen. Just take a look at that beautiful animal. Now our oven is preheated to 420. Our pig is seasoned, greased up, and in the oven she goes. Now while our wild boar is roasting, let's get our sauce started. The first ingredient is cobra venom. Now cobra venom is really easy to get. You just grab them by the fucking balls and open up the teeth, squeeze out the juice. It's the easiest pie anybody can do it. Next ingredient we're gonna need is Esquilax testicle drippings. Now we chose the Esquilax uh, because of the nutritional value of the uh, drippings from its testicles. It's got uh, antioxidants, it's got riboflavin, phytochondria, uh, that's the powerhouse of the cell. Uh, it's got vitamin A, vitamin 3, uh, vitamin L, it's got uh, riboflavin, I think I said that one already. It's got uh, um, so lots of nutritional value in the Esquilax testicles. The third and most dangerous ingredient, banana. Awesome. Now we just simmer it up for 45 minutes and our sauce will be ready to enjoy. Ding. You know what? It's pretty good, but I think it's missing something. Yeah, you're right. You know what? Let's give Antonio Giovanni a call. Good idea. Get the sauce. Let's go. Now, Antonio Giovanni has trained people like Gordon Ramsay and Wolfgang Puck. I hope he's home. Hello, my darling Axe Lords. Hello, Patrick. Hey. How may I be of service to you today? Well, Antonio, we're cooking wild boar foie gras, and we just can't keem to seem to get the sauce quite right. Ah, uh, yes, yes. 
Well, have you added the Esquilax testicle dripping? Yes, we did that, of course. Ah, uh, yes. And the Cobra Venom. Yeah, no, uh, yeah we got it. Hmm. A predicament indeed. Well, I shall tell you my secret ingredient. You must add cayenne pepper. Of course. <laughs> but beware. For too much cayenne pepper shall summon evil. Okay, goodbye. Now, the brainstem of the Gorgoroth is quite nutritious and a delicacy, and it comes out ready to eat. Mm -hmm. Now, the skin of the Gorgoroth is extremely poisonous, and you must remove it with the utmost precision. Now, a nice way to make use of your enemy's skulls is a nice hearty skull soup. Let's add some skulls of enemies we vanquished earlier in the week. Top it off with a quart of goat's blood. And set a rolling boil for 6 minutes and 66 seconds. Now it's time to give our skull scoop a try. Mm. Oh man, it's really good when you get a little piece of brainstem. for dessert. Marty, why don't you tell our viewers the excellent special secret to making desserts in a crunch? Okay. Well, Pat, it's finally time to discover the Axelord's secret to making a dessert in a time crunch. It's easy. You just give your roadie flute a toot. making cooking pretty much a waste of time. Let's eat. Oh, wait, you know what? It was the skull that was the poisonous part of the Gorgoroth. <laughs> yeah, right. Fucking good pie. 